Charlie Carrick. Been a long time, Timmy. What do I owe the pleasure? I need a favour. Lads, this is Mr. Charlie Carrick. I served my time with him. Who he is? Worst tyrant in the history of plumbing. Multi-millionaire now, so he is. Look at the threads. I should have stuck around. Yeah, there's no justice in the world, is there? So the deal is, I want to take these four trophies and turn them into the Yolanda Carrick Cup and get it to the sales in two hours' time. You'll never do it. Not with rush hour traffic. When we cross that bridge when we come to it. No matter how much money you have, you can't move mountains. Okay, but the clock is ticking. Okay, lads, we have two hours. Let's get cracking. Well, there. Not bad for a 20 year layoff. You always were a better plumber than teacher. I taught you everything I knew. And now you're the one begging favours. I won't be looking for any favours on the price. And you won't get any. Oh, cheers. cheers. How are we doing? 40 minutes. Right. It's been meaning to get that wording looked at. How many times did I tell you to look after your tools? Get out the Hannigans and buy some 50 amp fuses. What do you think? Even now you're still sore about the way I upped and left. Ancient history. I'd no choice. It was always your way or the highway. What's so wrong with my way? The thing is, you really would do anything for anyone. You really would give someone the shirt off your back. Once the man who gets the shirt acknowledges you as his better. That's a load of rubbish. Well, ask yourself, how many friends have you got? I don't need this, especially not from you. We were a team and then you betrayed me. No, Charlie. I just started up my own. A rival company on my doorstep. You're kidding yourself. I was just a two-bit operation. How was I a threat to you? Good luck, Charlie. Good luck. 